The section will be telling you about different sexual reproduction methods happening in fungus. Now, when fungus comes up with sexual reproduction, it does then follow what you call reproduction, uh, what you call with the help of spores. And these spores are formed, like we talk about whose spores? Basidiospores, ascospores, and zygospores are different spores. Those are formed during sexual reproduction of fungus. Now, when you talk about sexual reproduction, it does mean two of the strains will be coming close. There will be sexual reproduction among two fungi. Now, what will happen? Let's suppose this is one among the fungus. I've told you biggest fungus are haploid. So, this is one fungus. This is another fungus. This is also haploid and they will have to both take care of sexual reproduction. Now, the time they will be coming because they will have the cell. They will also have the, this particular fungus will also have the cell. This cell is having one nuclear and this cell is also having one nucleus. Now, what would happen when both of the cells will be fusing? You will see the cell will be like, you know, this and this. So now what occurred is the fusion of cytoplasm. The fusion of cytoplasm has occurred but the nuclei are still not together. The process is called plasmogamy. The very first step of sexual reproduction in fungus is plasmogamy where plasm of both the fungi will be fusing. And the time they will be fusing, now they will have to make because they, this nucleus will also have to fuse. So now the nuclei will be fusing and will be giving rise you to when. The nuclei, both of the nuclei are fusing and this they'll be making this diploid stage and this is called karyogamy because the karyon means nuclei are fusing. So nuclei after fusing because this is a stage which has come as a zygote but this zygote will have to look forward for meiosis because fungus will have to maintain their haploid character. Now this 2N will be looking forward for meiosis, it will be producing again the haploid fungus and this is how the fungus reproduces in what you call sexual reproduction. Now when you talk about sexual reproduction, it deals with some five methods which I'll be detailing you about. The first method is called planogametic copulation. It is one among the simplest method for the sexual reproduction in fungus. It can occur with the similar or dissimilar gametes. There are three methods. One is isogamy, anisogamy and oogamy. Both of these are called heterogamy. Heterogamy means gametes are different. But ISO means similar. Both of the gametes are similar. You can see this gamete and this gamete. Both of the gametes are similar in size, whether flagellated or non-flagellated. If both of them are similar in size and both of them are flagellated or both of them are what you call similar in size, but both of them are non-flagellated, this accounts for isogamy. In an isogamy, you see one gamete is smaller, another gamete is bigger. So this is what the different two type of gametes are produced. So this is called an isogamy. In oogamy, the male gametes remain motile. It has the flagella, the female gamete doesn't move. And what you call the particular male gamete will be going inside the egg and will be fusing. Oogamy is one among the what you call uh, sexual strategy which has been followed in higher plants also. In egg, I mean this particular zygote will be formed into the body of female. Now when you talk about second method which is called gametangel contact, the male gamete is called antheridium, the female gamete is called ugonium and ugonium is formed inside the egg. Both of the gametes will be coming and they will be, you know, they will be combining with the help of some fertilization tube and male gamete will be transferred to the female part and that is how the reproduction is taking place. When you talk about the third method called gametangel copulation, both of the gametes will be coming close. Both of the gametes, you see, they are coming close. And the time they will be coming close, this wall will get dissolved. Their walls will get dissolved. As soon as the wall gets dissolved, plasmogamy occurs. So this is how the plasmogamy is occurring. And thereafter, what you call, uh, I mean, the karyogamy and meiosis will be occurring. Now, when you look forward for spermatization, the fourth method of sexual reproduction in spermatization, spermatia or sperm-like structures are formed on spermatophore. They are non-motile. When they are non-motile, they are moved with the help of air or water currents. Now what happens, they will be reaching to the female gamete and will be fertilizing it. The fifth method of sexual reproduction, which is very common in what you call basidiomycetes member, they don't have sex organs. When they don't have sex organs, but then too sexual reproduction takes place. How? Because their somatic cells combine. Their somatic cell, you see, this cell is what you call this, 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 all cells are somatic. These all cells are somatic, but you see both of the cells are combining 
and from here the nucleus is transferring to here so this cell is becoming n plus n which is called dikaryon stage and dikaryon stage is one among the important features of ascomacities and basidiomacities so this is how somatic OME takes place which is with somatic cell even if what you call sex organs are not forming somatic cells are fusing and that is what encountering the sexual reproduction part which is called somatogamy so in next session i'll be detailing you about different classes of fungus